I don't know why I tried to suck that in. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Today we're going to be getting into a box that several of you guys have actually asked me about. You kind of wondered where it was and honestly I wondered where it was too. I got a message that asked if I was going to be doing this unboxing and I said yes I will be. I just currently don't know where my box is and I think that they thought that meant it was like lost in shipping somewhere but no it was just lost in my room. But I found it. Uh, I don't really know why it was that hard to find because it is it's a hot pink box. But all that matters is that we have it now. This is the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for the month of July. This is an upgrade to your current Ipsy subscription. So if you already have an Ipsy subscription, you can choose to just upgrade to this box, spend 15 extra dollars and no longer get your bag. Or I think that you can get both of them if you like. Everything in here is supposed to be a full size and the value is supposed to be like over $120 or something like that. And you get five items in here. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and slice on into it. Don't know why that sounded so intimidating. I already almost snapped off one of these nails. These things are fun and they make my nails look so much better than they typically do, but I feel like I'm relearning how to use my fingers. But I also feel like I finally understand ASMR. I can't stop tapping on stuff. Right, so here we have all of the items in the box. Oh, I forgot to mention that I am bare face, so I'm gonna try on everything that comes in this box on my face. We have the little pamphlet here that'll tell us about the products and I think their pricing. On the front, it also tells us the theme, which is dive in, very appropriate for summer. It also reminds me of Sarabasca. Does anybody else watch Sarabasca? Oh, okay. Seeing some interesting stuff right off the bat. The very first thing we have here in a beautiful box. This is from Touch and Soul. It's like very pretty and purple and hollowy. Speaking of hollow, by the way, I am definitely going to be ordering some of the hollow taco polishes from Christine as soon as they are re-released. Okay, the packaging itself is really pretty. This is the Waterfall Glow Cream from Touch and Soul. It says pretty Bitter? I, I don't think I'm saying that right. Right there on the front in silver, it looks like it says pretty fitter, but that just, that doesn't make any sense. So I'm guessing it's not that. Pretty filter. Gosh, that makes so much more sense. Inside we just have like a super, super pale, like kind of pinky purple translucent looking cream. Not too much of a scent or a taste either since I just licked my lip with that on it. I am excited to try this. My face is very, very dry right now, so it'll be interesting to see if this nicely moisturizes. Next up, we have something from Pixie by Petra, and this looks like separated olive oil and water, but this is the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Mist with propolis and argon oil. That literally looks like a vinaigrette dressing like gone wrong, but uh, it's kind of cool. I'm guessing you'll have to shake this up pretty good every time you use it to get those little oil bubbles to kind of like emulsify into the water or liquid with whatever's in there. It says you can use this as an all over face mist for a luminous glow before makeup. It hydrates and nourishes after makeup. It sets and adds a dewy finish and you can use it anytime to refresh your makeup. So that's kind of fun. I don't know why I tried to suck that in. Ooh, that's a very fine mist. Okay, so next up here, we have something from Wonder Beauty, which is super, super common to see in subscription boxes. This is the Catch the Light Highlight and Glotion. Glotion. I got mine in the shade Celestial, so I'm guessing this is like a shiny lotion. Oh, very different. So this actually is like two products in one on the end here, which I just mauled with this little cap. We have a highlighting stick. And then when you take off the full cap, I'm guessing there's another probably shimmery lotion. Lesson for today, kids. Stop opening things with your teeth. Gross. Oh, wow. Okay, that's actually not exactly what I was expecting. I was kind of expecting something with like some sparkle or shimmer to it, but this is just more like a subtle glow, which I actually think is prettier. I'm not sure if you guys can tell a difference there between the back of my hands, but this one just kind of has like a nice little golden glow to it. And then the highlighting stick honestly kind of has that same like golden-y tone to it. It's just a little bit more intense. Okay, so this is definitely something a little bit different. I'm definitely interested to give this a try. All right, Next up here is something that I have tried out before. This is the IT Superhero Mascara. And I'm not sure if I have one of these already in my terrifying bin full of mascaras. I could go ahead and see if I do have one so I'm not wasting this. This is what the outer packaging looks like. It has a little like little uh, form to it. It's kind of cute. I'll show you guys the one later just in case I do have another one of these. I don't want to open it up and expose it to the air. Uh, but this is in the shade Super Black. My fingers don't know how to operate. And then finally, last but not least, we have something from Huda Beauty, which I think Huda Beauty must be like working a lot this month with subscription boxes. <laughs> uh, I was actually editing my Allure Beauty box today and um, it was like a Huda Beauty and Allure box together. It's like a collaboration box. It just, it wasn't going well. 
know. <gasps> How? Oh, it's all my teeth too. I just, uh, I want y'all to take a gander of what I've done to my mouth. Oh, that made it worse. Yeah, that video wasn't going well, but Allure had like full-size Huda Beauty stuff in that box, and that is a $15 subscription. So they must have been doing some type of collaboration with boxes this month. Anyway, this is the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions. This is super pretty though. I really do like these mauve shades. Fall is eventually coming up. I think it's like 50 something days till Halloween. That's that's not even kind of close. Can you count? Which makes me so very excited. So here are some Swick Swick swatches? Quick swatches of the palette. We have a few different shimmer shades and a few matte shades. I think this one down here might pose the biggest problem. As I was watching it, it did feel like the most powdery out of everything in the pan. But I definitely think this is a very pretty color scheme with something that I like to wear. Swick swatches. All right, so that was everything in the box itself. Let's go through really quickly and read the prices of these items so you can get a value for the box. So the first thing we have is the Pixie by Petra Glow Mist. This is $15. Then we have the It Cosmetics Superhero volumizing mascara which is $24. The Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Waterfall Glow Cream which is $38. The Huda palette is $27. I personally think this is way 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 too small to be a $27 palette but that's just me. Then we have the Water Beauty Catch the Light Highlighter and Glotion Duo and this is $34. I also think that's a little bit expensive there because you really don't get that much product but I don't know. That's just me. Maybe it's absolutely amazing. We actually tried on the face. All right so the total retail value of my box came to $138, which is pretty good. It's $18 over the minimum value they said you'll get, which I think is $120. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I feel like a lot of the items in this box are going to be very useful. Is it the most like exciting box ever? Maybe not, but I think they're items that you really could get some use out of. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and jump on into the try on portion of this video. Did I mention it's 11.30 p.m.? I can't wait to put on a full face of makeup. First things first, armadillos. So the very first thing I'm going to try out is this Touch and Soul one waterfall glow cream. I really like the consistency of this. It looks like slime, but it doesn't feel like slime. I kinda wish it did. It just feels like a very thin, kinda like creamy serum. <laughs> All right, so that is all rubbed in. It sunk in really quick. My skin does feel nicely moisturized. Next up, I'm gonna try some of this Catch the Light highlighter. They said that you can rub this, oh my goodness. They said that you could rub this on your face before you put on your foundation. So I'm gonna give that a try. Oh, I forgot to mention, I've been saving this on my desk because I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I accidentally made jelly highlighter. Who knew you could accidentally make jelly highlighter? Can you guys see the consistency of this? It's literally like a putty gel. This was originally that Ciate like individual highlighter that I received in my Ipsy bag. And what happened was <laughs> that this whole little bottle of vitamin C oil spilled on top of it and I didn't realize for like a whole day. And it sunk in and it literally made like jelly highlight or putty highlight. Isn't that strange? Oh, what was I doing? Okay, yeah, back to the video. Okay. so. I'm gonna try out some of this Wonder Beauty Glotion underneath my foundation. I am seeing like tiny, tiny bits of glitter on the skin, so it does have some shimmer to it. All right, so that's pretty much it for like the base stuff. We just have like the two eye products left and then we'll try out this as like a setting spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and do like basically the entire rest of my face and then I'll be right back. All right, so the base of my makeup is done. Did I have to put makeup like all the way down the front of me to make my face kind of match my body? Yes, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna go ahead and continue on. I totally forgot that this little thing came with two parts. So I'm going to be trying the highlight from this little duo here. Not a huge fan of cream highlights, so we'll see how this goes. I think I'm just going to use my finger and like tap it along. All right, so that is a super, super subtle highlight. Man, I hate setting my coffee where I do my makeup because there's just so much makeup floating in it. Mmm, taste the setting powder. The next thing we're going to do here is try out this little Huda Beauty palette. The first thing I'm going to do is take this middle kind of brown shade there and use that for a transition. That I'm just going to fluff all into the crease. It's honestly coming off a bit more on the mauve side than it is brown. Then I'm going to take that shade up here that I was kind of worried about just to see how it performs on the lid because it was super dusty when I swatched it. Ah, I really do like having these fingernails. I think it's so much fun and they look so much better than my natural nails, but it's also quite dangerous for me. Her Personally, as a person who is highly prone to injury and also likes to put on eyeshadow with her fingers. Right in the center, I'm gonna dot just like a tiny, tiny bit of concealer. Then I'm gonna take this pink shade over here and kind of dot that onto it. And then with just another tiny touch of concealer, I'm gonna go straight in the middle. <laughs> and then take the lightest shade over here in this corner and put that right in the middle. 
don't know. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna go do the other eye really quickly because I forgot to do it as I was doing this eye and then I'll be right back. All right, so my eyeshadow was done. This eye gave me a lot of problems as always. It's a dumpster fire. Um, Try not to pay attention to it. I know it's kind of hard not to pay attention to flaming garbage, but do you just do your best? I quickly dug through to see if I could find another full size superhero mascara and I could have sworn I had one, but I cannot find it. So I will go ahead and give this a try. This is the wand, super, super regular looking. Just pretty straight, a little bit short, honestly. This is actually coating the lashes pretty well. It's giving me nice definition. Oh, that was right in the eye. I'm fairly certain this eye just actively works against me. All right, so the mascara is on and I just grabbed literally the closest lip product to me, which was this Tarte lip paint in the shade TBT. Uh, mm, yeah. If I were less lazy, I probably would have picked like a more nude shade, but uh, that would have required getting up, so. How did I make such a mess out of this? All right, I stopped being lazy for five seconds and actually went and got another shade of pink. <laughs> it's a little bit it's still too pink for me because my eyes are pink, my face was stained pink, I had to put on more foundation, and uh, yeah, my hands are also stained pink. But this is the entire look. Let me go ahead really quickly and spray down with some of this pixie spray and then that'll be it. Probably should have done this before, put on all that mascara. Honestly though, that mister is really, really nice. No little hunks or chunks flying out at you. Okie dokie, so this is it. This is officially the final look from my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for the month of July. Let me know what you guys thought about this box and the look itself. So far, I really do like the items in the box. I feel like I could get a lot of use out of some of them. So I'm decently pleased with it. Again, not like the most exciting box ever, but I think it's all right. Uh, but I would love to hear all of your thoughts and opinions. Let me know what you guys thought about this box. And uh, yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. So just thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you wouldn't mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!